so confused while still got players yet to know how to block those dunks and lay out. So this video today will combine all of the blocking points for us to prepare our fights again. Let's beat the monster together. First is the Shohoku team. Rukawa first dunk blocking point is when he is reaching his vertical peak, then block, which means his head crossed the red line that show in the video, and block. Positioning is under the basket. Rukawa's second dunk blocking point is when he is holding the ball with both hands at his stomach's level, then block. Positioning is the same under the basket. Next is Rukawa ankle breaks down when we heard our teammates shouting in pain, and we need to see Rukawa's hands. Rukawa both hands holds the ball. And block. Jenning is under the basket. X is his fade away. We need to position ourselves to stick to Rukawa. We need to follow Rukawa to jump at the same time. X is Miyaki flashy layout. The blocking timing is when you see him flash. He immediately jump. Positioning still under the basket. Miyagi swiftly lay up blocking timing is After the dash move, see he is jumping and immediately jump also Positioning will be following his lay up position Next is Akagi dunks Just when you saw he is stretching his hands and legs to his maximum level And going to reverse back and block Positioning is under the basket Next is the Sakuragi for the win lay up When he is flashes with yellow aura Count 1, 2, then block. Next is Miswin normal jump shot. After you see him jump in the air, then you follow him to jump. Positioning is the corner of the fan shape area. Next is Miswin step back. The blocking timing is when he pulls the ball to his head level and we have to jump. Next is Miswin fade away blocking timing. And we saw the ball at his head level when he is fading in the air. Best positioning is stick to him as close as possible. Next is the mystery turnaround layup. After he finished turnaround, we have to jump. Positioning will be under the basket. Next is our Shosaki. After you seeing him finish the spin move, when he pulls the ball at his head level and jump, follow him to jump. Shosaki pump fake and shot. After you saw him finish the pump fake, follow him to jump too. Both positioning will be the same. Just need to follow his spin move direction. Next is Kakuta spin 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 layout. After Kakuta finish the spins and his body start to lean forward and block. The positioning is around him. The blocking timing for Kakuta Skyhawk is after he jump and he pulls the ball to his head level and block. Positioning is still the same at the corner of the fan shape. Next one is Yasuda layout. When Yasuda is scooping up with his hand, then block. Positioning is under the basket. Last one for Shohoku is Kokure jump shot. When he pulls the ball at his head level, then block. Positioning for all shooter is the same at the corner of the fan shape area. Next is Jonan team. First is Sento first lay up blocking point. When you see him scooping up with the hand, then block. Positioning is under the basket. Santos double pumps lay up blocking point is after he changed the hand and scoop it up with another hand, then block. Pretty easy. Positioning is following him. Next is his jumping jelly lay up. We need to follow him after he did the one two step and jump. Then we have to jump to block. His jumping jelly double pump lay up blocking point is same as normal double pump. Also need to follow his direction. Next is his negative angle layup. The first point layup blocking is the same. When you see his hand is scooping up, then block. We need to put more attention to his negative angle double palm layup. We must follow him to the red line in the video and wait for him to change hand and scooping up again, then block. Next is center fade away. The blocking timing and position for any fades away is the same. Just stick to him as close as possible. Next is Puekasa layout blocking timing. Count one two when you see his layout hand is straight and block. His layout timing is lower than others. So we need not too eager to block it. Next is Koshino layout blocking timing. 
after he changed his hand to do the layup. Same block. Next is Koshino fade away. Same, same, same concept. Next is our real JDD. His pump fake shot shares the same concept with fade away shot. After he did the pump fake move, he jumped then you jump. Positioning is stick to him. Next is Ryoji turn around shot. After he turn around, he jump then you jump. Positioning can be around the paint area would be fine. Next is our other team. First is our Naito. Normal down is when he's preparing to jump after he's squatting down. Then block. Under basket is a good position. Next is his rushing down. This is simple. Putting one two step, he jump then you jump. Same blocking position. Next is our Kengo. His first time blocking timing is the same as Naito. After he's got down and preparing to jump, then you jump. Same is under the basket. Sento's second blocking point also share the same concept as Naito. After he's got down second time, he jump, then you jump. Last representative of today's guest is. Our Hanagata. His first turnaround down blocking point is when he finished turnaround and block. The second point turnaround down blocking point is after he finished spins two times and he is holding the ball with one hand and block. Next is his turnaround shot. After he finished turnaround, he jump and you jump. If you find you are still unable to block, try to adjust it to the hints given. After you feel the block, why will be like this? Because not all characters are using the same abilities and traits. Jumps and blocking abilities to help in blocking. If you enjoy the content, please hit the like button and subscribe my channel. Thank you guys. See you. Bye bye. I will be back.